hi friends welcome back to my youtube channel so this video is about creating a project in kyle microvision uh, ide i am going to use kyle microvision 5.35 uh, version and i will explain you how to uh, create a arm um, project from scratch on kyle microvision ide uh, i will tell you how to download required packages through package installer and uh, configuring runtime environment uh, manager uh, for a particular microcontroller in this video i am going to use stm uh, 32f 103c8 microcontroller uh, let's start the video so first i will open keel microvision id and in this uh, before starting the project uh, I will install all the supported uh, drivers for this particular microcontroller. For that, uh, I need to open this uh, package installer first. Click on that package installer uh, icon. Now you can see the packages are being loaded. And in this uh, left side, you will see lot of vendor packages, vendors. In this, you need to pick your particular vendor which is sp microelectronics okay and under this you will see your series mine is spm 32 f1 and uh, my model is stm 32 f103 so once you click this you will have all the supported uh, packages in the right side so in this uh, for basic in, uh, testing first you need to install these drivers and examples so i'll install this okay it is being installed now next you need to install this uh, um mcs but this is already installed if you don't have this installed you can install this and the next one is arm compiler so sorry keel uh, arm compiler i think yeah this one keel arm compiler install this also and third one and the last one is uh, middleware this also you can install uh, some of the drivers are uh, in uh, available in this middleware so this also you can install before creating project i'll create this and install okay the package installation is done now i will close this uh, package installer now uh, next is uh, next we are ready to create project so go to project option and click new microvision project uh, create a new project create a folder first and uh, name it some name test2 in this uh, uh, i am inside the folder now now you need to give a project name just to give some sample project name okay now uh, here you can see arm and st microelectronics options are available if you don't install uh, correct packages for the stm uh, microcontroller you will not uh, get uh, this option here so since we have installed everything required for the uh, project uh, we'll have this uh, uh, we have this available here uh, open this and uh, pick your correct microcontroller so mine is uh, c8 c8 i'm clicking this and click ok yeah this is a uh, manage runtime environment here is uh, where we set up the required uh, 
files uh, uh, here is how we con where we uh, this is the where we configure uh, runtime environment so in this uh, you need to enable cmc uh, this core option also you need to enable uh, startup code okay these two things are enough for a basic uh, uh, program now after enabling core and startup click ok so here you can see a project is created and uh, you have required uh, options here not everything you can see uh, i mean uh, you will not see main file here that is missing we need to create the main fi file ourselves so for that uh, you uh, right click on this source group you can rename this source group and you can create uh, uh, as many as source group folders you want here you can create here so in this i am going to re uh, i'm not going to rename this as uh, user app right click and click add new items to item to group now click uh, c file and uh, give the file a name i'll give main this is my main file and click add now when you expand this you will see main.c file so file is ready now main file will be completely ready when we include the correct uh, .h file for this particular microcontroller for that uh, i'll give you a simple option here just open this uh, startups.c file and here you will see this yeah this one you can copy paste to your main file now you can create a main function int main see this error will not go until you create one extra line after this uh, uh, bracket closing closing so okay now it is gone now you can save this and uh, when you run this you'll see success message build for build uh, you can click here okay you can see there is zero error one warning is there anyway it will not stop us from flashing so uh, leave it you can check your warning what is it uh, you can clear it uh now there is no uh, error so i'm going to flash this uh, my uh st link uh, v2 is v2 programmer is connected so i'm going to configure that in flash configure flash tool here go to debug and uh, okay this stm uh u link to we have to change to st link debugger and after changing this go to settings and uh, select this port should be sw target communication port should be sw and uh, here you can uh, enable this download to flash option also go to trace tab and here yeah core clock you can change in my case uh, core clock is 8 megahertz uh, it should match with your microcontrollers uh, crystal or internal rc clock so clock uh, core clock is 8 megahertz for me uh, flash download in the flash download uh, tab uh, click this reset and run otherwise you have to manually reset and uh, here uh, in this case it, by default it is saying 128 kilobyte uh, rom memory but it, this is not correct uh, mine is only 64 kilobyte so i'm going to change this here so this address if you change this values uh, this will change um, for in my case this should be uh, like this 
uh, okay no yeah, just to change this value like this and uh, back uh, nothing to change here click ok ok this uh, ceiling is ready now target uh, we already know c3 this is correct if you want to uh, use x, x file you can enable this you will get the x file if you are using some different uh, programmer or something i mean if you are not directly flashing from uh, uh, ide you can use this hex create hex file and uh, use that external uh, upload tool in my case i will be using this uh, download button inside the id to install uh, the firmware so hex is not needed in my case listing everything is set now we are ready to flash i'm clicking ok here and uh, this is ready i'm going to click uh, load button okay flash is successful verify okay everything is done now if you want to debug you can click debug option here this will go to debug mode you can see assembly code uh, you'll you will be able to see assembly code all the internal registers program controller program counter everything will be there yeah so that's it guys